very good day to you and welcome to the program. Are you going through a difficult time at the moment? Well, then this message is for you. I'm going to be brief because we only have five minutes. If you look at the Word of God in Psalm 34 and verse 19, this is what the Word of God says. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. I want to say that again. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him from them all. If somebody says to you, because you're going through a hard time, well, brother, sister, there must be sin in your life. That's a lie from the pit of hell and don't receive it. They are liars. No one suffered more on this earth than Jesus Christ and he was without any sin. So it doesn't follow. You're going through a hardship. Some people, oh, there must be demons in your life. There must be. No. You are living in a fallen world and you are dealing with situations that everybody else is dealing with. Folks, I want to tell you something. I have never grown through blessing. I want to say that again, and some of you are going to disagree with me, but I'm talking from experience. I have never grown spiritually through being blessed. I have grown spiritually through hardship, through affliction, and through tribulation. If I look at my life from the time I got saved, which was almost 40 years ago, up until today, I want to tell you the highlights in my life are when I was in the deepest and darkest pit. Because Jesus was there with me, and He was real to me. See, when you're getting blessed and you're on top of the mountain, you don't need Jesus. Well, that's what you think. Okay? You've got money, you've got fame, you've succeeded, you're excellent, you've got the gold medal. You don't need anybody. That's what you think. But when you're in the pit and you're on your knees and all your friends have deserted you and there's no one there, that's when you grow. So growth comes through hardship. Okay? You know, I, I, when I used to grow maize, sometimes we would have a, a tough time. We'd have a couple of weeks with no rain and the soil would form a crust and that little mace plant had to push, it's only soft, through the hard crust to get out. But when it got out, man, it became a magnificent plant. Remember the story of the man who was sitting at his desk writing and he saw a cocoon on, his, on the windowsill and he saw this, uh, this uh, pupa trying to get out and he thought he would help it. And he took some scissors and he cut it open because it was struggling so much. And out it came, but it developed into nothing. It couldn't fly, that butterfly. It had no wings. It hadn't been pushed and, stre and strengthened through hardship. That little cocoon is made like that for a reason. When that, that little um, insect comes out of that cocoon, it has to fight. It has to struggle to get out. And that's where the formation of the wings take place so that it can fly. I have never met a man yet worth his salt who hasn't been through a fiery affliction. I haven't met one. In fact, the men that have never suffered, never ever had to work for anything, got everything on a, on a plate, as it were, silver spoon, they're not even worth talking to. You know why? Because they've got nothing to say. So be encouraged, sir. Be encouraged, madam. You're going through a dark time at the moment. You're going through a testing time. I'm telling you, it's a learning curve. God hasn't abandoned you. He's with you. Remember the story of the, 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 the footsteps in the sand? Lord, where were you? There was two, foot, uh, two sets of footsteps. And then when the going got tough, there was only one set. Where were you? Why did you leave me? He said, I didn't leave you, son. I was carrying you. He's carrying you through the hardship. He says to you, just be patient. He says, uh, darkness is for a moment, but... Uh, the morning is soon coming upon you where you'll have victory and you'll have joy. So I rejoice in my tribulations because tribulation works with patience, patience, character, and character hope. And you'll find that in Romans chapter 5, verses 3 and 4. Until next time, goodbye. We trust that you have been blessed by today's message. For more information, please visit angusbucken.com.